Topaz offers a full line of fittings for BX, Flex, and MC cables. We're going to start by discussing duplex connectors, which are used for MC and armored cable. The three types of duplex connectors that we have, we have two styles which are called clamp type. This is a single screw clamp type duplex connector, and this is a two screw clamp type duplex connector. The single screw clamp type duplex connector is utilized to take two flex MC cables or armored cables, insert them into this connector using a half inch knockout. This is a space saving uh, connector which allows you to fit in double the amount of cables into one knockout. So this particular connector is minimum half inch knockout and maximum half inch. So it cannot be used in any other application. This two screw clamp type uh, duplex connector is same thing, except it has the ability of being tightened down in place, secured by two screws. Also used for half inch knockouts. This next uh, connector here is a saddle. The saddle straps that are on this connector allow you to secure into the grooves of the MC or armored cable, which lock it into place. This particular connector also is suited for a half inch knockout as a minimum and maximum. If you look here, we have a installation which depicts a installation of two non-metallic sheath cables for the two screw clamp type duplex connector. So this allows you to, when you're out of room with knockouts, to make the most of your space. By using a duplex connector, you now can put in double the amount of cables into that knockout. All of these connectors are UL listed for the purposes of their cables to be used with BX, Flex, and MC. The next group of fittings we're going to discuss are combination fittings. Combination fittings are used when changing from one particular raceway to another. Uh, example being, if you were using electrical metallic tubing and you had to convert over to non-metallic sheath cable, NM cable, you would use a connector like this. This connector is a coupling which uh, lines up on the EMT with the set screw, and then it has a squeeze type connector here for the Romex. This allows you to convert from Romex into electrical metallic tubing. This particular fitting only goes up to half inch diameter for the raceway electrical metallic tubing. The next combination fitting would be a EMT conversion to flex. So FMC, this particular raceway, um, it would have a two screw squeeze type connector on top and an EMT set screw coupling that allows you to convert. The third one here that we have on display is using the electrical metallic tubing. This is a compression type connector going over to a flex with a saddle clamp on it that locks your flex into place. So once again, it's converting it from electrical metallic tubing over to FMC, what we consider flex. The next grouping we're going to talk about are also in the family of flexible metallic conduit. So you're talking about flex raceways. We have straight and 90 degree connectors. They are both squeeze types. So you can reference it by seeing that as you tighten the, the screw, it would squeeze it, supporting it to the raceway. With that being said, your straight connectors and your 90s come in two different styles. We have zinc and we have malleable iron. So zinc is a little bit lighter duty compared to malleable iron. So based on your installation location, if it's subject to more abuse or being hit into, uh, you would maybe go for a heavier grade uh, fitting, such as a malleable iron um, flex connectors, which both come in straight and 90s. The sizes go from 3 8 up to 4 inch. In reference to the straight connectors versus the 90, the key with the 90 degree connectors when using them is to make sure that you don't have any stress on the raceway to ensure that your conductors that are being ran on the inside aren't subject to any additional friction or damage. So this is a uh, zinc 90 degree connector 
which also is sold in 3 8 up to 4 inches. Both the malleable iron and the zinc squeeze type connectors are listed only for dry locations. So FMC Raceway is not listed for outside, neither are the connectors. So please make sure that they are installed according to the UL listing. The next set of fittings that I want to discuss are still for flex. We have a straight connector and a coupling. So this particular connector threads internally to the flex raceway. So FMC, you would take this and thread it in by hand. So this is not going to be a squeeze type, not clamped down, just simply thread it into the inside of the FMC. Next you have here is a coupling. So many use a coupling in order to extend the FMC raceway. So if the flexible raceway is not long enough, you now have a solution by using a coupling for the flex. So once again, this threads into the inside of the raceway, allowing you to extend it to your destination. An example of it would be as we have here. You have a connector and a coupling, just simply thread it in. So if you're putting this in, just thread it in. And this is a secure connection. It is tight, it's fixed in place. It would be the same for the coupling. Topaz offers a full line of labor-saving snap-in type fittings. I'd like to show you the duplex versions. So we have a single screw duplex connector, which is used for sizes 3 8 up to 3 quarters. I have a double snap, which is also a duplex connector, which is used from 3 8 up to 3 quarters. The connectors themselves are proven labor savers for the job site. So I'm going to demonstrate on how to use them. I did set up a demonstration prior. So this particular box has a straight single, um, single screw snap-in connector, which is installed with a piece of MC cable. So how easy is it to use? First, identify the size knockout that you have to choose the right connector. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my three-quarter inch knockout that I have. So I'm going to use a single screw snap-in connector. This connector goes in with ease. So I line it up with the knockout, make sure it's pushed all the way in, and you'll know it's in because you'll, you'll hear it lock in. At that point, once you secure your cable to this connector, it'll keep it from moving around. So you're going to need the cable there to ensure it's not going to move. So that was your single screw um, snap-in connector. I'd like to now demonstrate a 90 degree. So when choosing your connectors, whether it's straight or 90 degree, it's based on how you're installing your, your cables or your raceway to make sure there's no stress or any type of uh, friction on the cable because that would then be passed on to the wires. So going over the installation on how to use this double snap, what does it mean to be a double snap? It snaps into the box, so as you'll see, as opposed to using a lock nut, this allows you to snap it into the uh, knockout, securing it in place. And then once you install your uh, cable or raceway, it allows you to snap it in place right onto the cable. That's where the double snap comes in. So once again, holding it over my uh, knockout, I would just line it up and then press it into place. Once the connector is snapped into place and you know it's been securely fastened, then it allows you to install your cable and move on. So the labor saving aspect of these fittings is huge. It allows you to continue to get your work completed at a faster rate by not dealing with the hassle of a lock nut or dealing with being slowed down by getting multiple pieces put together. So the snap-in fittings here uh, go in with ease, as you saw. Next connectors we're going to talk about are used for MC, Flex, um, and NM cable. So I'd like to start off by talking about this one here. This connector here is a take-all fitting. So this fitting comes in sizes half inch up to two inches. So the unique part about that is that it can be used for flexible metal conduit, or you can simply reverse this strap 
and utilize it for Romex NM cable. So a very versatile connector that can be used in the field. Another example of a flex connector is we have a straight flex connector here. This one here ranges in sizes from 3 8 up to 4 inches. So it's for use for larger scale raceways. Um, but you'll notice this uh, strap secures to the outside of the FMC, making sure that it doesn't move, keeping it tight. It also has another feature on this connector, which has the insulated throat. The insulated throat, as should be known, protects the wires that pass through the connector to ensure it doesn't get cut by the edges of the connector's threads. So that ensures a you know, proper installation. So the MC saddle connector is the next one I'd like to demonstrate here. Uh, this particular connector comes in sizes 3 8 So this is a widely used connector for MC cable and armored cable. So anyone that's using MC or armored cable knows already the requirements for uh, anti-shorting bushings. So when we think about anti-shorting bushings, that's something we want to make sure is installed to prevent any uh, damage to the wires by the edges of MC cable or um, armored cable. So how do we install this? The way it works is that you would simply install your cable and you would tighten down this saddle so it would rest against the outside of the MC cable. So an example of that would be what I have here for you. In this uh, box here, we've installed a saddle, MC saddle connector, and you'll notice that when the cable was put in, this set screw was tightened down, and it secured the saddle right against the outside edge of the MC, keeping it locked in place. So proper installation purposes, uh, you would tighten down the lock nut on this connector to secure it to the box. You would place your cable into the connector, and then secure the saddle right up against the edge of your um, MC or flex to ensure it doesn't move. Along with Topaz's BX Flex and MC fittings, they also carry anti-shorting bushings. So an anti-shorting bushing is used uh, to go into the end of a raceway for flex, MC, or armored cable. This is used to ensure that the sharp edges of the uh, flex or the MC doesn't cut into the wire. So I'd like to demonstrate on how it's installed on a piece of FMC or flex. Make sure that your anti-shorting bushing is sized to your raceway. I would simply take the anti-shorting bushing line it up and insert it into the uh, flex. The thing here for the demonstration is that this is how it gets installed, but what's missing? What's missing is the wires. So when you're in the field, this would be secured around the wires. So your conductors would be pulled into your raceway and then you would go ahead and install your anti-shorting bushing. For more information about Topex products, please visit our website.